Okay, I'm sorry. First, I just have to show off this really cool hitch I built a couple years back. It was the last project I did before I started shooting on YouTube. It's just made from a bunch of scrap metal, but basically it uses the hooks for the bagger and for the counterweights for the snowplow. See how slick that is? You flip two things up, it pops right off like butter. I realize a couple of these tips are vehicle specific, but most of this video should apply to any garden tractor. The purpose of keeping the clamps retracted is that you have to fight them to push this thing into place. What happens is you get them both locked in, but that third pin that goes in the dump cart hole is never lined up right. You have to do it all in one motion and it's a pain. So if you just leave them pulled back like this, it's super easy. Now I'm sure a naysayer would say, well, I would just put it together once and leave it together. Well, that's fine if you have a lot of garage space, but when you're fighting for every inch like I am, I take this thing apart once, fall is over, and I put it away for 11 and a half months again. Much easier way to store it. All the parts fit inside the upside down basket thing that sits on top of this receiver. Okay, I covered this bungee cord a little bit better in the spring maintenance video. Why don't you go check that out if you want to see how that works. Now I know everyone's going to go, no, don't take that off. But here's the deal. When I put the leaf blower on, I leave it on until the leaves stop flying or it snows. At that point, leaf season's over. This makes it way easier to get the shoe down because you're not fighting a spring. And if you look carefully, I've already removed the metal thing underneath this plastic thing because that gets in the way even worse. So I got rid of that. You don't need it. So if you take it off your tractor for the first time, you have to pry these two little hook tabs up a little bit to get it to slide off because they're crimped down a bit. So the whole idea here, which is really what the video is about, is the shoot, really. Getting this stupid shoot to work right. As I'm trying to get this thing to gasket to the mower deck and stay there. It comes with a little metal thing that's supposed to hold it down. Just throw that thing out. Do it my way. This works. I did the same thing on my old John Deere. You have to tie it down or weld up some fancy clamp, but a piece of rope and a dollar binder, hey, great, you're done. So this rope is the exact length with the winch not exactly where it needs to be. It goes right in the pile of stuff for this leaf blower so that when I pull it down, I already have all the parts I need. So this is the method I came up with on the John Deere. It worked great. The rope will not get into the blades and it won't hit anything on the ground. So 
So you can see here, there's a little metal tab on this mower deck. The deer had the same thing. I'm using that for this little binder clasp thing, whatever they're called. So anyways, I'm looping it through that to put downward pressure on the thing to pinch it down. I'm looping it back the other way and putting a winch knot in. Once you get that thing winched tight, you could lift the whole mower deck up by this plastic chute. You'll see. If it's hard to take this thing off every time it clogs with leaves because you forgot to empty the bagger, you have to fight it to get it off. Same problem on both mowers. This stupid plastic window, which is useless, kept popping out. I fixed it. I remember getting to drive the tractor when I was a kid. I must have been about the same age. My dad put it in first gear and I drove around the side of the house. The first thing I did was run it dead into a tree and couldn't figure out how to stop it. So I got off, ran around the corner and my dad came over and shut the engine off. That was my first tractor memory. <laughs> Mom, this is my excursion. I'm only told it.